and welcome to the channel. Damian Jackson here, back with another video. It says Discovery in Space, FM radio signal coming from Jupiter's moon, Ganymede. Now, I don't know if you're like me, but I like to show the expanse. I haven't caught up on a new season yet, but I could have sworn there was a space station or something like that on Ganymede. We <laughs> want Jupiter's moon. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm correct or not. I'm just throwing it out there. But this is interesting, right? Because it says discovery in space. Discovery. To mean make something new. Or, or not make something new, but uh, learn a new information that is new to you. To your audience. To, to your country. To your people. Whatever the case may be. Doesn't mean that it, it wasn't already there. It's just you make light of. Now, this is from uh, mysterywire.com, but this article, pretty much, I think it's a copy-paste article. It says, the Juno spacecraft orbiting Jupiter has discovered an FM radio signal coming from the moon Ganymede. The find is a first-time detection from the moon. Patrick Wiggins, one of NASA's ambassadors to Utah, says, quote-unquote, it's not ET, it's more of a natural function. I don't understand why... They give us stuff from space, and then I know some people first thought of, oh, man, it's going to be aliens. And then the first thing you read an article that someone is always saying, oh, no, no, it's not aliens. If it's not aliens, what what the fuck is the significance of this then? <laughs> like, like what, if it, what, what, what's the significance of this? It says Juno was traveling across the polar region of Jupiter where magnetic field lines connect to Ganymede and that's when it crossed the radio source. Scientifically it is called a democra de decametric radio emission if I said that right I don't know decametric. Here on earth we know it as Wi-Fi and we use it every day. What? Well here's a Take it for what you want, you know, it's from Wikipedia, but it says Wi-Fi, it's Wi-Fi definition. Wi-Fi is a family of wireless network protocols based on the IEEE 802.11. If you ever check your Ethernet cable, your 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 modem, whatever, router, whatever you want to call it in your household, you'll see this. It's a family of, which is just standards on uh, guidelines as far as uh, Ethernet cores, stuff like that. Which are commonly used for local area networking of devices and internet access. Wi Fi is a trademark of the nonprofit Wi Fi launch, which restricts the use of the term Wi Fi certified, blah, 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 blah. Uh, wi Fi's wave bands have relatively high absorption and work best for line of sight use. So, Wi Fi, right? Radio signal, right? Radio signal. Yet, here it is, telling you this FM radio signal, FM, another Wikipedia, but whatever, FM broadcasting is a method of radio broadcasting using frequency modulation. Frequency modulation. Frequency, uh, frequency modulation is the encoding of information in a carrier wave by varying the instantaneous frequency of the wave. The technology used in telecommunications, radio broadcasting, signal processing, and computing. So why are they saying Wi-Fi? Is the signal up there is a FM signal, but it's just like Wi-Fi on Earth, the way it travels, the way the moon travels across the polar region. And does any of this make sense? Does any of this make sense? Maybe I don't understand these different technologies and communications and stuff. Is that what it is? According to Britannia.com, Jupiter's radio missions were. Discovered in 1955 and over the last 66 years, 66, 66, numerology 66, more and more discoveries have been made about how the signals work. Hmm. Juno's mission is to study how the planet Jupiter formed and how it evolved. He's talking about Juno, not Ganymede. It says what caused the radio emission from Jupiter's moon again Aliens are not sending the signal. Electrons cause the signal. Well, that's interesting. That electrons cause the signal. Wi-Fi. FM. It's all over the place, right? I don't know. I just thought that I would just throw this out there. It seems kind of interesting. 
Maybe something to look into. That's just my thought. So until next time. This is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now.